Good evening, everyone, and welcome to um, St. George's Church. Um, my name is Father Tamin. I am the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield um, in Freezy Water, and a warm welcome to our church. Today is the Sunday, um, the very first um, Sunday of Advent, first Sunday of Advent, and then we are going to offer some um, the night prayers you know, together, known as a complain. Before we um, say um, the prayer together, um, I will just tell you the psalm number that I'm going to use. I'm going to use Psalm 93 um, today. And also for the scripture readings, I will um, read um, from the Luke's Gospel. Um, it's very sort of early chapters um, from the chapter 1, verses 39 until 45. Uh, before we say um, prayers, let us have a moment of quietness and prepare ourselves um, for this night prayer together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread on the foot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose bread our souls are raised to life from death. And tonight's psalm is taken from Psalm 93. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of many waters, Mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Tonight's um, scripture reading is taken from the Luke's Gospel. Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child left in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb left for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. <coughs> now in front of this the first Advent candle, let us offer some prayers together. Today we're reminded um, by all the readings that we must have hope. Um, and then we, at the, um, um, the 10 o'clock, our main Eucharist service, we heard um, scripture reading saying, our Lord will come back to us again. And then when he comes back again, he is not going to come back to us as a little baby, but he will come to us as the Lord and judge and master. And then that is the day of um, judgment. But that day, we don't need to um, feel afraid of that because we are the followers of Jesus Christ. And then for us, his second coming, that is the day of our redemption and our salvation. So we must have some hope um, for the future, whatever the circumstances that we are in. So tonight, um, we keep... Um, those who are unwell in body, mind and souls. Those who are fighting um, against this coronavirus. Those who are struggling with um, flus, cold, um, and more, you know, difficult diseases to cure. Those who are struggling with um, any kinds of um, physical or mental disabilities. And simply those who are stressed and then depressed because of whatever. Then we pray that we may be able to have some hope. Pray that nothing may not dampen our spirit. Pray for the members of this particular congregation here worshipping at St. George's and beyond during this season of Advent, we may be able to, um, to have some opportunity to reflect on some other aspects of our lives. We may be able to prepare ourselves for the season of Christmas.
we may be able to build a more deeper and intimate relationship with the Lord. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And stir up your power, O God, and come among us. Heal our wounds, calm our fears, and give us peace through Jesus our Redeemer. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ, and come with the dawning of the day, and to make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Uh, thank you everyone um, for joining me for this, um, the night prayer. Um, just a quick um, reminder, um, I'm sure the most of you um, must have heard or must have seen and must have known by now. Um, and during the season of Advent, um, Wednesday, every Wednesday, we've got to four um, Wednesdays ahead um, and in between 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. So that means after the 10 o'clock service in the church, um, we will finish by 22 or the quarter to 11 and then we are going to move from here to, um, to the vicarage. So um, we're going to have um, some very casual conversation over the tea and coffee. And, and who knows, you may have some cakes and then biscuits, you know, fingers crossed. Um, you're most welcome. Anyone who are around, um, feel free to pop in for the, um, you know, the conversation. And then um, each week, um, every Wednesday, we are going to use the theme of that week, this first week of um, Advent, um, our theme um, of this week is, is hope. So we're going to have a very usual, um, you know, very casual you know, conversation among us. So um, don't forget, um, if you're around, if you are free, please don't be shy, just pop in. Um, and then um, join us in our conversation. If there is a one or two, that's absolutely fine. If we have more than certain numbers, we might need to actually split that um, into people into a two different groups. And um, then, yes, we don't need to, you don't need to stay there for the whole hour. Um, you may just come here and then stay half an hour 
and then just leave that. It's absolutely fine. Uh, we decided, I decided to call it um, Advent Cafe, um, not coffee, um, Advent Cafe. So um, I think it sounds nice, but you know, the interesting thing is um, we should be able to have some conversation. So um, yeah, that's uh, one thing that I need to share with you tonight. And also, um, officially now, um, Christmas gift collections. Um, we are, this year, we are going to collect some Christmas gift for um, boys and girls. We focus on primary school age children and, and um, you can wrap it, wrap them if you like, or you can just unwrap them, that's up to you. And then we are going to collect them for the next four weeks. So the last collection day, the last collection day will be um, the 19th, Sunday, 19th of December. That is when we are going to do a Christian service in this church. And then after that, um, from the 20th, we're going to distribute that um, you know, Christmas gift to the children who are in it. And then we are focused on um, um, the refugee, um, you know, the children's. And then, um, as you can imagine, um, they've got anything to celebrate with. Many of them are actually, um, well, they have to worry about how to survive. I mean, they're not really in a situation where when, you know, people can actually worry about what they're going to get for Christmas. Possibly um, some of them, maybe many of them, if not, um, are not even, you know, Christians. But that I don't think that really matters. It doesn't really matter because we are called to serve um, the people who are in it. We are called to help others. So um, I'd love to um, encourage you to be generous um, this year again, and then please bring your gifts to the church, um, and you will find that Christmas lovely wood box, chest box um, there. So um, you can actually leave your Christmas um, gift in the box or around the box. Okay, that's um, the last thing that I need to, um, to share with you. Other than that, I have to say good night and God bless you. And I'm going to see you all um, probably Wednesday, 10 o'clock for the church service. May God bless you and I wish you all the best for your Advent journey. Bye for now.